everyone! I recently thrifted my dream wardrobe for fall, and before you are commenting, hey, it's already fall, you've kind of missed it. Yes, I missed it, because I suddenly went to Finland for two weeks in October, and it was winter there, and then when I came back, well, it's still fall, just not the fall weather that I would have liked to enjoy instead of the Finnish winter. I've been thrifting in a couple of places, most notably in a spot in New Jersey, as well as a few places in Finland, and I will be showing you guys my thrift haul and how I'm styling my thrifted items this fall. Starting with outfit number one, I thrifted this dress and this beret in two different spots in Finland. Let's talk about the dress first. The dress is most likely vintage and it's made by a brand called Karelia. Now on its own, it kind of does look like something from Call the Midwife. However, I am able to style clothes like these very effortlessly into modern looks. So I'm not worried about that. The beret is also most likely vintage, and fun fact, it was made in Uvescula. It also cost me like 5 euros, which is amazing. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I don't usually wear any berets or hats because my head is too small for 99% of hats out there. However, this beret is on the smaller side, which is why I was willing to give it a go. And also as a wonderful bonus, I love the little red ribbon, so maybe this is the beret for me. Maybe it is not too late for me to have berets and hats. The final bonus item that I added here is this bag that I thrifted, which is vintage as well and by a very good brand and I also got it only for 5 euros. It is actually authentic leather and it's literally one of the most perfect bags I've ever thrifted. As for the outfit that I created, I wanted to make something that looks modern but has vintage elements in it, which is why you're seeing the combination that you're seeing and my favorite part about this is that there are those little touches of red in the dress and the beret. I feel like in the modern day world, you could call this a modest cool girl outfit. And it's kind of very French-esque, though I don't really know anything about French fashion. So I am literally just going off of the beret and sunglasses thing. Overall, I love the way the dress drapes and flows. And I also really love the details of leather in my boots and the bag. So we're having a lot of connecting elements here. Also, the belt loops are a wonderful detail. I want to thank the designer for adding that because that just adds so much more to the outfit. For my second outfit, I thrifted this brown top, brown skirt, and brown scarf. The top is from New Jersey and the skirt and the scarf are from Finland. Regarding the top, frankly, I got it because it shows off my curves in all the right ways. Additionally, it is in the perfect brown shade that I've wanted in my closet for a while now, so I was very thrilled to find something in that shade. As for the skirt, upon seeing it, I immediately thought, hey, this will match my top, I have to get it. And once again, that wonderful color of brown. I love this shade so much. I don't know what it's called, but I love it. As for the scarf, I wanted a scarf that would be long and thin and maybe have some light patterning on it. Just something that kind of is easy to put around the neck. I have scarves, but they are all very bulky or not easy to put on and take off. So this one is perfect because once again, it's in the right shade of brown. It's the perfect length and it's in perfect condition. Once again, my styling inspiration was a cool girl outfit, something that you would see on Pinterest perhaps, because we all love our Pinterest boards. This is my attempt at being like a mature, chic, Pinterest it girl, and I think I'm pulling it off pretty well. Funnily enough, none of these clothes are the same shade of brown, but I think they still complement each other really well and create an overall wonderful brown outfit. I just kind of feel like a hot movie star, like something from Devil Wears Prada, you know, going into the office, looking chic, looking cool. It's very cool, it's very chic, it's very mature, it's very womanly, and kind of sensual, but not too much. And once again, it accentuates my curves in all the right ways, so I think it's perfect. Now, this isn't a yummy video without something blue in it, so of course I thrifted a blue top. I love this shade of blue. I don't actually have anything in this shade of blue in my closet, I think. I think. But most importantly, I love the three quarter sleeves in this, and um, I am realizing that perhaps I am just collecting all the different shades of blue at this point. This one I found in New Jersey, and I think it's a very interesting top, and I styled it in a very fun and very yemi esque way. Of course you're going to see a blue and white outfit, because when are you not seeing a blue and white smurf inspired outfit on my channel? <laughs> For some reason, this is a running theme and maybe I should be concerned, but I like it, so I think it's good. It's definitely up my alley and definitely something you've seen me repeat in different formats throughout my videos. The white and blue combo is just perfect. Maybe this is my inner fin coming out. 
or maybe it's just simply that I love this color combination so much. I also just love that the blue color really pops in this outfit. It's the only non-neutral color, so it'll be really eye-catching to anyone who sees it. Definitely a yummy outfit, definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but I like the way I styled it. Next up, we have this brown blazer that I thrifted in Finland. Now, I have a story regarding this thrift find and other thrift finds related to this. For context, a lot of thrift stores in Finland are actually stores that essentially host a space for independent sellers to come and sell different items at their table. So they get to price the items however they like, they get to bring whatever items they want, and usually they just rent a table and pay for that table and take the money home from whatever is sold. I like this method because it allows for a lot more variety. It won't be like a store curated thing. So I can see so many different styles, so many different things. I prefer this kind of thrift store. I don't really know what you would call it in English, maybe like a flea market type thrift store. So a lot of thrift stores in my hometown are like this. And this specific thrift store had a table that was pure magic. This specific table had a little paper on it that said, quote unquote, high quality clothes for small women. Now I am not a small woman, but I did try on like 90% of this person's table clothes, whatever you want to call it. And when I tell you that everything fit as it was tailored for me, I am not joking. And not only did it fit perfectly, these are all clothes that are vintage. Everything was pretty fairly priced. It was like 14, 15 euros for approximately every single item that I got. Now this blazer was the first thing that caught my attention because it's a very unique looking blazer and it's not really something that I've ever seen in stores or thrift stores anywhere else. So of course I had to try it. I also got these sunglasses in this wonderful shade of brown and I don't usually like this style of sunglasses on me because I kind of look older. But I think this style, or maybe it's just the size of these sunglasses, just fits really well. And I love the shade of brown here as well. This outfit is for the Pinterest girls. This is straight out of Pinterest fall inspo. I swear something like this is on somebody's Pinterest board. I really like the combination here of the blazer as well as the short skirt. I think it all just ties in very well and it's very fun. It's playful. It's not too formal or too academia, but it's also not too casual. I think the blazer makes it a little bit more formal and then the rest of the outfit is a little bit more on the casual side. On the whole, I'm just in love with this blazer. I think I'm gonna find so many ways to style this blazer and it just works so well with everything because it's literally like made for me, like literally tailored for me. And I kid you not, it is in perfect condition. Also, it was literally 8 a.m. when I was filming, so um, my hair inspiration ideas were lacking to say the least. This pinstripe blazer is the second item I tried from that table and I am in love. I have been looking for a pinstriped blazer for a very, very long time, but I haven't wanted to buy it in any fast fashion stores or online because I feel like this is something that has just been timeless throughout the decades. Unfortunately, I have not really found any pinstripe blazers that looked good on me or fit me well until now. I was really debating on how to style this one and I came up with two different ideas on how I could style this blazer. So I'm gonna be showing you two very different looking styles. The first version is a much more formal version. I'm actually including a Marimekko skirt that I also thrifted from the same table and it's crazy that I found a Marimekko skirt for 14 euros but I found it and I'm very happy that I bought it. I actually was really doubting if I should get it, but I actually left it in the store and returned the next day and found it and bought it. And I'm very happy about that. Anyways, this is a really formal outfit. It's not something that I would usually wear, but I feel like it's a very cool outfit, very mature once again. I'm really going for these mature vibes these days. I think I'm just kind of wanting to up my mature looking game. In the past, it's been really grandma core. And then it's been kind of kid core. And I think now I'm kind of getting into the, I'm entering my 30s in a few years stage. I think it's very preppy, but in a nice way. And I like that the blazer is really structured. So it adds a little bit more of that masculine element to an otherwise very feminine outfit. All in all, this outfit really surprised me because I don't usually like pencil skirts or skirts of that kind. But I think this A-line skirt just really did something for me. And I think I need to style it more. For my second style, I wanted something way more street style inspired, so the opposite end of the spectrum. This is something I'm generally more comfortable with and wear more than the first option. 
it's much more relaxed. It's easier to wear to a lot of different kinds of events, especially in New York City. I feel like it's totally appropriate for a lot of different kinds of things. We've got the gray color palette. We've got the chain details. We've got the attitude. We've got the edginess. The base of this outfit is something that I repeat a lot in my videos and in real life. And I think the blazer just adds to the edginess in a really nice and slightly more formal way. For my seventh outfit, I have this green sparkly top that I got during my vacation at Wildwood Crest Beach. And I love this. When I saw it, I was immediately like, hey, this is a very nice sparkly shirt that is in a Slytherin-esque color. And before you come at me saying I am a millennial Potterhead, first of all, I'm a zillennial technically, I guess. I don't know. But secondly, I am not a Potterhead. I just always liked this slithering color palette. I don't know what it is about it. I just really like the dark greens. And I just think the earthy tones in Slytherin are way nicer than something like the bright reds of Gryffindor. I'm not really that into Harry Potter, although my niece is. So if my niece is watching this, I love you. Also, if you like nice beach vibes and vlogs in general, you should go ahead and watch the vlog. No one watched it. For my outfit, I wanted to style it in a very flashy way because the top itself is already very out there and I kind of wanted to challenge myself and see exactly how flashy and crazy and out there can I go with the sparkles. I think this is a little different from what I usually wear. Not super different, but a little different. But I really like the sparkly top combination going on here. And also this kind of reminds me of Siren Core. I just really like the way it all ties together. It's very siren-esque and very beautiful. And the button-up just works perfectly with the rest of the color palette, which is, let's face it, all neutrals. And the sparkly top beneath it is not taking away any of the attention of the top itself, but rather it's just peeking out a tiny bit. So it's that extra detail you'll catch if you watch closely. This siren is totally ready to siren it out for the winter. No aesthetics are not limited to any season, I believe. I think you can totally rewear an aesthetic for different seasons. It may be difficult, but it is doable. And this is proof of that. Up next, we have this black vest that I thrifted in Finland once again. As I've been saying in my last few videos, I am really getting into vests. I now have two vests. Wow. And I don't know, they're just a good layering piece. They're versatile. They're really good to add warmth or if you just want to cover up or just throw something on. Now, as for the outfit inspiration, I have been seeing the ribbon tied sleeves trend floating around on Instagram quite a bit. And I wanted to give it a try, except with a vest. I wanted to bring in some color with the ribbons, the pants, and the hat, so it all ties in together into this wonderful purple and black combination. Unfortunately, for some reason, one of the ribbons was totally in agreement with me that this is how it should go, and the other one was like, hey, let me just curl myself up into a ball and resist with all of my might gravity, which should be working on me because I am a ribbon. Also, I was on cool shit list because he was like, it is time to feed me, human. Why are you taking so long trying on outfits at 8 a.m. in the morning? I'm really sorry about that, cool, but he did get fed immediately after. For outfit number nine, we have this kind of a bra top that I thrifted in New Jersey. It was kind of embarrassing to try on and thrift because there were no fitting rooms. So I just kind of tried it on in front of a mirror, in the store, in front of everyone. Thankfully, on top of another shirt, of course, but it was kind of weird. I've been looking for tops in the underwear as outerwear category for a while now. I did have this teddy bodysuit that I thrifted way back but unfortunately it has never quite fit me the right way and it's very hard to style because it's kind of sheer in the front so i got this to replace it it cost me a whopping five dollars and i love the details in it the little glitter speckles as well as the ruching ultimately it's also very mermaid core-esque with the way it flows and with the way the ruching is for the outfit i'm going a little bit more maximalist than i usually like to go but i've been experimenting with this a lot recently which is to layer upon layer upon layer i just call it the layering upon layering style. I am sure there's a much better name for it, but I don't know what else to call it. Like I said, it's kind of more maximalist than I like to go, but I think it's a really good look actually. This is also a good way to layer the top without it feeling weird or without people looking at you weirdly or without you feeling too exposed. And it's also a great way to add a little bit of something to otherwise very modest or plain outfits. I also love the way this look is very tiered. Everything just flows together. Overall, I love it. I love the details. I love the mermaid feel. I like this outfit a lot. It's very cottagecore and mermaidcore. Last but not least for outfit number 10, we have this blue floral blouse. 
If you know me, you know that I love clothes with blue and white floral patterns and combinations. And here is an example of that. I think I thrifted this shirt a while ago, but this shirt got worn a lot in Japan, so it is a very beloved shirt. I love the sleeves and buttons of this blouse, as well as the pattern, of course. Awkwardly enough, though, the buttons end right at the belly button, so I do need something higher-waisted to wear with this top. So, for my outfit, of course, naturally, I chose something high-waisted, which is this white skirt. I think this look is very Alice in Wonderland. It's very whimsical, and I love the lighter hues in the blue and how they tie in with the white skirt. Overall, I think it's a very pretty outfit, and it flows perfectly. And once again, we have the situation where it is going wider and wider as we get towards the bottom. Once again, this is definitely an outfit that is way more up my alley than some of the other outfits I tried here, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's good to know your personal style and it's good to know what you like specifically. And I talk about this in my personal style versus trends video, so if you want to know more about that, you can watch the video. Anyways, that is all the outfits today. I hope you found some inspiration in this video for your fall wardrobe or maybe just basic inspiration to keep on thrifting and looking for items that will fit your wardrobe. And as always, my friends, I'll see you next time.